The gentleman's recognized for two minutes. Madam, Madam Chair, our nuclear we weapons production programs played a pivotal role in our nation's defense for decades. It helped end the World War II and it helped win uh, end the Cold War. But these, create, these programs created a large amount of na radioactive nuclear waste, and the federal government has a legal responsibility to clean up this waste. This amendment restores a portion of the proposed reduction for the Department of Energy's Environmental Management Program, which is tasked with cleaning up the nuclear to defense waste at sites across our country. R Hanford's Richland Operations Office in my district is one of the defense nuclear waste sites and it is facing a cut of over $100 million put in cleanup progress and legally enforceable cleanup commitments at risk. Even in times of tight budget constraints, the federal government must meet existing legal obligations to clean up its defense nu nuclear waste. Existing legal obligations of the federal government, like cleanup of its nuclear waste sites, must be met before funding optional activities regardless of how valuable those other activities may be. By adding back $20 million for the Defense Environmental Management Program, a small portion of the overall cut, this amendment helps to ensure that cleanup can move forward safely, efficiently, and in a timely manner. It would help ensure that the Richland Operations Office can complete the successful and nearly complete River, river Corridor uh, Closure Project and meet cleanup commitments. And I might add, the river that I'm talking about that this river corridor project abuts is the Columbia River, which is a main waterway through central Washington. So I ask my colleagues to support this amendment. And Madam Chair, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Washington reserves. For what purpose does yeah. the gentleman from California seek recognition? I rise to claim the time in, op in opposition on behalf of the ranking member, though I am not uh, opposed. The gentleman is recognized for 10 minutes, five minutes, without objection. Without and, objection. And I would uh, yield myself uh, two minutes. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I rise in opposition to the Hastings Amendment, and while I understand and appreciate the gentleman from Washington's interest in environmental cleanup, I'm afraid that it does so at the expense of research. Inertial confinement fusion is critical to our national security. It keeps our nuclear weapons safe and ready at a time of growing threats across the globe. And this amendment does not just target research at the National Ignition Facility, which is in my congressional district, uh, which includes uh, Livermore, California. It also tries to cut the whole budget for inertial confinement fusion. It ropes in the Z facility at Sandia National Laboratories in Mexico, New Mexico and the Omega Laser at the University of Rochester in New York. Budgets right now are tight. And I know all members would welcome the chance to add more money to priorities they believe in. But it's a mistake to try and fund such priorities by shortchanging critical science that helps us in our national security mission as well as meet our future energy needs. This science keeps us safe. It will also eventually revolutionize how we think about and produce energy. And we can't let ourselves fall behind or cede leadership to other nations who are making large investments in inertial confinement fusion, including France, Russia, and China. I ask all members to reject this amendment, and I yield back uh, the balance of I, I yield uh, to my colleague from Washington. Gentleman, does reserve. the gentleman from California reserve? <laughs> reserve. Uh, the gentleman, the gentleman from, from California Washington. reserves. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. Uh, Madam Chair, I'll ask my friend from California. I'm prepared to close, so if the gentleman wants to close, I will uh, finish debate on this amendment. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I would ask to yield two minutes to the gentlelady from Oregon, Ms. Bonamici. The, 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 the balance of my time. The gentleman from California yields back. Thank you, Madam Chair. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I yield myself the balance of the time. The gentleman's recognized for three minutes. I just simply want to say, Madam Chair, that uh, the Environmental Management Program is a program that is a result of our war efforts going back to the Second World War. And as I mentioned in my opening uh, uh, statement, we won the Second World War because of this activity and, and won the Cold War largely because of this activity. But 
developing nuclear weapons cremates a tremendous amount of waste, and that's the responsibility of the federal government. I mentioned Hanford, and I mentioned one of the, one of the projects uh, at uh, Hanford, but I want to remind my colleagues of how much nuclear waste is stored underground at Hanford. 56 million gallons of radioactive slash hazardous waste is stored underground on the upper plateau uh, at Hanford. If you were to quantify how much 56 million gallons would be, it would fill up over 20 house chambers. Now this amendment does not address particularly that program, but I just want to remind my colleagues that cleaning up this waste is a massive, massive undertaking. And it must be done simply because of what uh, uh, the programs did initially by ending uh, the war. So I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and I uh, yield back the balance of my time.